So, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and uh, yeah, w before we are, we're going to start this video, this video contains spoilers for uh, the third issue of uh, Edkind Demon Hunter. So uh, yeah, if you don't like to to be spoiled and want to figure out things yourself, I'll post a link down in the description down below and uh, you can figure it out for yourself. And uh, it might be better to click away right now. So. Uh, First, I have to take a sip of tea with some uh, with a with a slice of lime because uh, yeah, I got a little cold and uh, yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the reason why I've been away for a while, I want to do this review on uh, Sunday, but I c on Friday I got the cold and uh, yeah, so I uh, had to drink a lot of. Uh, of ginger tea and uh, add some lemon and lime to it add it in my food, to my chicken and uh, right now uh, I'm finally, my uh, nose finally uh, leaking so uh, it shows but uh, yeah that's not why we're here we're going to review uh, Ed Kind Demon Hunter issue 3 by uh, written by Lucifer Storm and uh, art by Christian Rossi Go to split it in uh, once again uh, three parts, or uh, my bad, six parts. Where, uh, yeah, first off is uh, the writer, etc. The synopsis we'll give a short breakdown of what, uh, of uh, yeah, what happened in issue one and two. Part uh, three end up with uh, we're going to do uh, we're going to the pages, see what we find and how the story progresses. Four is positives and negatives. Five is final verdict and. Uh, Six is next. The next one video will probably uh, upload it uh, two days before, of uh, one day of or uh, after or during the Christmas during the last week of Christmas, just before the New Year. So uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's uh, scroll down below. At Kind Demon Hunter Chapter Three, the wait is written by Lucifer Storm. Penciled and inked by uh, Christian Rossi, cover colors once again Christian Rossi, and edited by John Wakefield. And as you might see here down below in the description here, Ed Kind Demon Hunter 3, July 2022, first printing, is published by Re Reload Comics, United Kingdom, and the all the related characters are copyrighted by Lucifer Storm. Lyrics to Dead Skin Mask are uh, Slayer, of course. All other material is uh, copyright reload comics. Nothing in this book may be reproduced without express written consent of the authors except uh, for purpose of review and promotion. Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing this off the job. I'll make any money of it. Of it. Because on the job is on the job. Off the job is off the job. Right now. We're off the job. So uh, yeah. That's one. The synopsis is basically uh, a team. A demon has, has escaped uh, from hell and tries to find its way to his host body, to his uh, grave, to uh, yeah, send to heaven and uh, kill and yeah, basically kill God and uh, destroy all reality as we know it. And but uh, the devil knows that this is uh, this could also could also be a threat for uh, to his existence and the existence of hell as we so because, because uh, yeah, despite uh, them him being fallen. Uh, being banned from heaven, ba banished to hell. They still, their, their destiny is, their, uh, their fates st are still connected to one another. One can can't basically exist without the other, and if one dies, the other dies, and uh, reality as we know it will cease to exist. So, uh, Mephisto or the devil, Lucifer, a uh, Diablo, decide to. Uh, how better to kill a uh, psychotic killer without another psychotic killer who had a rough uh, childhood? So uh, that's where we get to Edgain, Demon Hunter. In part one, he was uh, got with the help of Astra and the sword of Os Osiris for Cyrus. He uh, decided to uh, go in, to uh, go and uh, face face his threat, the demon. But uh, turned out it was his his own mom, who, who, who is an abusive mom. It's also quite religious, to the point of uh, yeah, being a turning into an uh, 
to bleed she lot and to abuse her, abuse her. She came back from the death and decided to haunt his life. Haunt him once again. I've been stuck in a loop for uh, for yeah, they trying to uh, bury his own mother. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much that. We're going now to the breakdown. And uh, yeah, part two in uh, part one, they uh, he uh, comes to face his mother. Part two, the hunt is on. He goes to the hardware store, to Warden's Hardware, Tuesday, August twenty seventh. Night ninety one at eight uh, twenty eight p.m. in uh, Plainfield, Wisconsin, and uh, what we see here, it's time to rip and tear. <laughs> That's a terrible rhyme, I know, but uh, Ezra's hiding behind uh, Edkine, and he tells him to run. He tells Ezra to run. He goes. Uh, he makes a run for it, and. Uh, Mama Spanks with the chainsaw. And uh has that guy cornered. She once again she goes with the chainsaw. This is what I love. There's no dialogue in it, no uh, necessary no whole walls of text, just straight to the point action and uh yeah. His mother, Miss Gain, is ready to kill. Rip and tear, let's go. So uh once again uh she of course she destroys everything in her path in the hardware store. And uh Van still run store and uh he's still running but uh then he uh he comes across uh, a chainsaw in the hardware in the hardware store and uh this bring, gives him an idea. This problem this is when he co comes across an obstacle problem solution he re and the fight is on. So uh we'll go here for a minute. He tells him to stall her. He got an idea. Ezra agrees, so uh, he tells he tells her to man, I would happily slap your butt shit splatters, and uh, she turns on the chainsaw to go for an attack. Oh bugger! And uh, she kicks him with all her might uh, because yeah, she has been uh, resurrected as a demon. She uh, kicks uh, Ezra against uh, some accessories, and uh, yeah, he tells. Her he tells her, she tells him that if you think fees is splatters, then wait till you see what I'm going to do with to you, you foul mouthed little. She mm. turns on, but then she turns around and she, as Edkine calls her, calls her name, and shoots her straight through her uh, abdomen with a rifle. And uh, he tells him that you can't treat my. You can't treat uh, Ezra, his friend, like that. Now just put him down, please. He, she tells him that, uh, alright, she puts him down. She throws him straight to the window. With all kinds of glass in it. And, uh, he, is, he tells him, I'm not being monetary compensated enough for receiving the, this kind of abuse. Well, you can thank, well, you can thank the devil for that. There's always a catch. So, uh, how dare you? After all I've done for you, how dare you speak to me like that, you ungrateful little heathen. Vroom, and it's time to rip and tear once again. So at Gain's mother goes for the attack, and we come to, and we come to uh, probably one of the best f things to happen. A fight between, it's rip and tear, chainsaw against chainsaw, metal on metal, just the way I like it. Too bad I, I can't put, uh, too bad I can't put uh, things like, uh, like Motorhead or uh, Slayer or uh, just say uh, Judas Priest, Painkiller, under if because this is it calls for things like this. Moves on bitch where it would uh, help, but uh, yeah, they're going for the attack. Chainsaw against chainsaw, and uh, Edkine basically uh, goes in the attack, slashes her uh, her head off. And uh, yeah, he tells her mother, "You think you would easily kill me, that boy? Of course not. She's uh, she's been immortalized. She I'll raise all the heathens, the sinners, the sodomites, and the impure. I'll starve with you, boy. I'll eat your soul and spit it into the mouth of God. When I do, I will, all will bound to me for forgiveness. 
So basically she wants to become like Abelov and uh, be worshipped like like uh, a goddess. So uh, he, Edgar laughs <laughs> and uh, runs away. And he, she vows to end him. I want you, you better run. I'm sure you're okay. Yes, Mr. Kind, likely the worst bruising I have is my ego. So how screwed do you think we are now? And this, uh, once again, Tuesday, August 27, 1991, at 9.15pm, Plainfield Woods, Plainfield, Wisconsin. They're walking through the fo through the through the woods of Plainfield, and that, uh, and uh, turns out that Astra is okay. And he tells him that the odds are slowly tipping in his favor, but uh, he tells him that uh, we have, they don't have time to waste. What the, and he uh, tells him that he won't be here anytime soon. What do you mean? Dang it, why does this armor of yours make me itch so bad? Mr. Guy, he tells him to focus. And that tells him that, yeah, in the last, in the first chapter, the sword of Osiris, of Osiris, Osiris, the god of death, of the Egyptians, of the Nile, is still in their possession. And uh, he has a shovel and a rifle and plenty of cuts and bruises. The only option at present is to get to the cemetery as fast as possible and hope to get there before his mother, Miss Gain, uh, gets there. And he tells him that it keeps getting worse. And he turns around and comes across a deer. And he goes f f and it's time to go hunting. Shh. But someone throws a Molotov cocktail. And he makes a run for it. Or or the bullet is, uh, no, it's not a Motov cocktail, it turns out to be a bullet and uh, of his, from his rifle and uh, it hits a tree and he misses. So you basically have a hunter kill. S same thing with rifles, crossbows or uh, with a bow, compound, bare bow, compound blank, recurve, doesn't matter. You only have one chance to hit it and uh, what you miss, the deer runs away. And you won't hit his vitals. We don't just need a plan. We need to make sure that everything that was working against us is taken out of the equation, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, how in the name of all that's holy am I meant to hunt for when I don't feel comfortable in my own skin? Mr. Gain, you can't fight without your armor. She'll destroy you if you do. It tells me armor, not yours. Why don't I... Why don't I... Not yours. Why don't I like where this conversation is going? So, uh... And he tells him to... Take a little retour, or detour, actually. If we take another sip of tea. If we do that, then your mother will be get to a rescue place before us. And he tells him that, yeah, if, you, if they go there, that she will get to the rescue place before us, and uh, life, all, as we know, it will cease to exist. He, her d he tells him that he slowed her down, that's it. And uh, the body... In uh, the, the warden's hardware playing field to uh, Wisconsin, in the hardware store, tries to get to her hat. And uh, her body's moving, her decapitated body is moving on her own, her head is back on her head, and she vows to pay him. And, and she tells him that, careful, you fool. And uh, she laughs evilly, and she tells, st and she. Use a stapler to uh, staple her uh, head back on her b on the neck. And he doesn't. Oh, come on, Ezra. No time to dilly dally. Then we get on and tells him to get moving. Let's figure he can't get through it. And uh, then he tells him that oh my. I have it a little easier then. If only I learned to keep my mouth shut. And he goes to. Uh, that guy goes to an, uh, another place from his past, the Mendota Mental Health Institute. He played in Wisconsin. So, uh, yeah, at uh, quarter past ten in the evening. So, this place I knew I would be hard to come back here, but I never imagined it would be hurt so bad. So, he has bad memories from this. And because the judge sent him here. And somewhere that in solitary confined where no one else could see him. And he still wasn't accepted by anyone. And uh, as our comforts him, tell him that it's all right, Ed. I know it hurts. We can't change the past. We can't make up for it with the steps forward. we chose to take moving forward in the future. It's not this. And he tells him that uh, he's proud to call him his friend. Uh, 
Uh, we all need a good boy like Ezra. But come on. And uh, he's proud of it. And he goes uh, into the institute having a plan. He needs to feel comfortable in his own skin. And you all know where this is going. And I love every second of it. He goes for look. He goes looking for. Uh, and he doesn't race. They already in a race against the clock. He tells him not to worry. So he goes down and he uh, comes across uh, the Mendoza Mental Health Institute, the morgue, into the morgue where all the death bodies are. Uh, are so uh, yeah. What he does is quite sickening, but I do love. It. But the plan is also quite genius, and he takes one uh, one knife, one precision knife or I think an operation knife, and. Uh, Starts uh, cutting off, uh, peeling off uh, the skin of one, uh, one of the two of the patients or deceased, and start making his own armor out of human skin. <laughs> and uh, Ezra finds it uh, <laughs> hilarious, and it's true. <laughs> and he's laughing at, and he well, it's not Ezra. It is uh, at his uh, laughing is. Out loud, because uh, he's going to <laughs> literally cross-dressing. Well, what do you think? In all time, as a hellspawn, this is without a doubt the most disgusting thing I've ever had to witness. Say Ezra. Think you pull off one of your magic tricks, huh? And uh, what happens next is <laughs> he takes, he puts, a, he puts some, uh, yeah, all female boobs on and uh, creates his own. Uh, Armor out of human skin, and uh, back at Plainfield Cemetery, Mrs. Gain, aka Demon Gain, goes uh, digging up her own body, and Ed Gain comes uh, with a shovel and uh, one boob, the face of a face, of the skin, the facial skin of uh, one of uh, the deceased, a rifle and a shovel. And he tells him that I've come to take you home. And that's the end. So, uh, yeah. That's uh, for uh, the breakdown. Now we're going to the positives and negatives. Positives. Once again, just like, the fir just like in the first two issues. Art is uh, consistent. Too good. I liked it more here than I, I liked in the second issue. With a huge uh, jump and uh, going back to uh, the first page. Once again, Christian Ross, Christian Rossi shines in the on the splash pages, and uh, of course, it was all building up to this moment. Part two was building up to three, and part three is building up to the finale that we uh, will probably upload next week or uh, yeah, the day before one of the one of the two days before Christmas. So uh, yeah, but we'll make it uh, tomorrow or uh, Wednesday because. Uh, I have some other stuff to do, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pulling up nicely, and uh, yeah, art's once again good. The color, the coloring, yeah, it's black and white. There's great character development. There's a moment of uh, yeah, friendship between uh, Ezra. We all need an Ezra in our lives. And uh, yeah, interesting concept. And uh, yeah, you literally uh, create the skin out of. Uh, their bodies, which is both disturbing and genius at the same time. So the negative is, uh, yeah. I can't really find a negative here. It's just, uh, yeah. Of course, art is, is more simplistic than what you can find in other indie comics in the American format. But it is re it, I I can fi hardly find can find any negatives in this because it's a really good third issue, and I can't wait till the finale. I read it already, and the ending. It is a thing of beauty. So, uh, yeah. I'll give this a 95 out of 100. Go straight to the final verdict. Good story writing. Art and, art and writing in balance. Christian Rossi shines uh, better on the, on the pages that are not splash pages. There's, there's better flow in it than in the second issue. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Some disturbing things as well that are fitting of the horror genre. And uh, yeah, the supernatural. Some notes I could take from this. So uh, yeah, what's next? Well, just uh, what's next is uh, yeah, we're going to review uh, 
at Kind Demon Hunter Part 4 like this in uh, on the PC on digital on the from uh, on OBS because uh, unfortunately I don't have that much uh, storage space on my cell phone and uh, my Google uh, account gives all always gives me notification that you can make backups this you can make backups that thanks a lot Google I know so uh, yeah it's gonna be in the same format and uh, say one last goodbye to uh, our uh, demon hunter who's taking his job more seriously who's more feeling more comfortable in his uh, new skin and uh, yeah that's it so if you'd like me to see to make more videos like this leave a like subscribe if you want to and uh, if you want to see what I created my hardworking friend General Warrior issue 1, Death the Family, is now available as, as a vertical scrolling webcomic on the GeralWarrior.com and on uh, Global Comics, where you can pick uh, the traditional format as well. And uh, yeah, if, you, if you're interested, give, give us a follow on Twat on Instagram. I'm a hard wing friend as well. And uh, yeah, grab, you, grab the opportunity to, to uh, buy an, uh, P a DRM free PDF the first issue and uh, on uh, Global Comics and on Gumroad and if you want a physical issue there's also an option for that Fortunately, shipping cost is something I cannot control so uh, yeah of course I will post uh, the links down in the subscription and uh, see you guys in the next one so uh, if I if I won't if I won't uh, upload it uh, on the 23rd I wish I wish you all a Merry Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year for, for those uh, if if I if I don't make it before that if I don't upload before that and uh, yeah see you guys in next see you guys uh, next week so uh, I say in Japanese Deva matane or Cha matane that's the more uh, informal version and uh, yeah Matadaishu Matadaishu see you next week. And if not, Mata Sadai Shu. That's oh, see you in two weeks. So uh, yeah, talk, talk to you guys later. Adios. And Oyasumina Sai. Okasan.